live from Strongsville, Ohio. It's a moment in Michael, episode 18. Today was pretty, just like all the other ones. Had a meeting that was kind of smaller than most because there's a lot of legal stuff going on that got a little crazy. I'm not exactly sure what liberties I'm allowed to take in disclosing what happened, but we're going to be losing one of our best guys out there. He's going to be heading back to Utah, and the office is going to take quite the hit from not having its presence there. Everything from leadership to just, just having a good guy on the team, just as... He's always been kind to me and very, very willing to help me and encourage me. So I really appreciate that. It's a shame that I never got to have him be on the show. Once again, didn't get a sale today. Got pretty close a couple times. But you know, sometimes just getting close is not satisfying. At least for me, it isn't. I've been getting a lot of people saying, you know, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I didn't finish my time out here for the entire summer. A lot of people saying, you know, they wouldn't think less of me if I came home. And, you know, it is it is something that, you know, you can't help but to think about when you go, like, two straight weeks of not selling anything. You do start to think maybe, uh, maybe you're not cut out for this, but I don't want to be that person who just gives up, especially just because it's hard. My vision for who I know I am and who I can be, it supersedes that expectation of just doing what comes natural. Let me put it to you this way. When I first started meeting with Jackson and Dino, Jackson asked me a very uh, introspective question. He asked, Michael Mann, are you average? Are you below average? Or are you above average? And I told him confidently that I'm above average. Now, why did I say that? Because it's true. I'm, I'm not average. And I refuse to allow myself to be below average. So the only natural place to be is above average. Am I wrong? The thing about being above average, though, is that you have to deliver. You need to be able to stand and deliver when you make such a claim. And when you don't deliver, it creates that <clears throat> reverse psychology of, well, if I'm not delivering, am I actually above average? Just because we aren't delivering doesn't mean we're, we're below average or we're just average. It just means we haven't delivered yet. But for the majority of the world, they'd say we can't be running off of potential. We can't be just quantifying intangibles like that. So I completely understand where my managers are coming from from that aspect when they feel a little exasperated about my lack of performance, especially when they are under the impression, rightfully so, that <clears throat> my caliber of person should be yielding something greater than what my performance has delivered thus far. I understand it. I get where they would be coming from. <clears throat> But to be honest, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I want to be able to sell and be successful, be able to bring that smile to their face and do all the things they want me to do. I want it too. It's not like I'm just doing it for them. You know, it's, it's one thing to be told that you're not good enough, and then it's another thing for you to realize you're not good enough, 
And then it's another thing to realize that you're not good enough and then be told that you actually are good enough. And then it's a completely different thing when you want to be good enough, when you know you're good enough, but you're not showing that you're good enough, even when people are telling you that you're good enough. Anyway. On a lighter note, got to play D&D again with my friends tonight. And that was rad. I always love talking with them. And I'll have to tell you guys what our campaign is like. The, kind of like the overarching storyline sometime. Here's a question for you guys. How long do you guys stick with something before you decide to no longer continue it or realize that it's something worth continuing? Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm always open for some opinions just to see what people think for reals though say something nice before you go to sleep do something great before you die I'll see you soon stop being a punk stop being a punk stop being a punk stop being a punk